Hello everybody, SCP Slayer here, and welcome to my tutorial on how to install the Legacy Fabric 1.7.10 and the old Backrooms mod by Ludocrypt. The links for everything in this video will be in the description, so go check this out, go download it, go play with it. It's a very simple thing once you get the hang of it. Um, so one of the first things you're going to want to do, you're going to want to download this. This is multi-MC. This is a launcher type thing that, uh, allows you to create multiple instances of Minecraft and run different mod packs and stuff. Uh, you're going to want to download whatever version you're on. I downloaded Windows. And you're going to want to unzip the file and put it on your desktop. Like I did. Okay, we're done with that part. So. Once you've downloaded that, you're going to want to download this. You're going to want to go here and click this button right here. 1.7.10. This zip folder. Once you download that, go put it on somewhere where you can find it easily through a browser menu. Um... Because that's a later step. Then you're going to want to download the mod. So just click the download button. The newest version is the one that works. The older version didn't work right. Um, so those are the downloads you need. Links are in the description. Again. Now, we have all the files here. We have the mod. We have the fabric thing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open up MultiMC, and I'd open up on the wrong browser. So this is the MultiMC thing. So first off, we're going to open up MultiMC. Which again, opened on the wrong browser. Come on, open on the right window, damn it. Okay, once we're here... Notice I already have the legacy thing installed, so I'm just going to walk you through what it takes to install it. Um, so here's where knowing where this zip folder here is at all times is very important. Because you're going to go to add instance. Again, shut up on the wrong freaking window here. And we're going to go to import from zip. And then you're going to click browse. Which will bring up this. And if I was going to install it, I would go to desktop and find the zip folder. Wherever the hell it is on this list. Yeah, this is my second display, guys. There's nothing on my second display, so I used it. Uh, it's not finding it, but you get the you get the image. You you'd find the zip folder and click it, and then click open, and it'll go here. And then you'd have this. Now, what you want to do is you want to open this up and start it before you install the mod because when you when you go to install the mod so once you've opened this and ran it once you have to load it all the way to the menu screen um then you go to instances which is right here and then you go to here and this file will show up. You need to get this .minecraft file to show up. The rest of this doesn't matter. This is just like the fabric engine stuff. You need to be able to open this. And then you'll find the mods file. And then you put the mod. The backrooms. The old backrooms. In there. And then... To prove that it works.
No, let's see which, which display it's about to pop up on. Popped up on the wrong display. As you see, it works. So yeah, that's the process. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. If you don't fully understand this for some reason or another, just say so, I guess. Um, but yeah, this, this was how you install this specific mod pack. I couldn't find any tutorials, so I decided, you know what, I should do a tutorial on this on my own. Because <laughs> I feel like people are really going to want to know how to do this. Because, frankly, I know some people prefer to mod on Fabric. And if they can mod in 1.7.10 in, in Fabric, hey, more mods. Um, but yeah. Uh, I hope you all have enjoyed this little tutorial, and I hope this helped. And I will see you all next video, live stream, or whatever I do next. Peace!